It is primarily carbon dioxide, so we'll need to keep the colony hermetically sealed. We have a small settlement here, and you will assume command upon touchdown. There are no signs of intelligent life so far, but do keep an eye out. Your mission coordinator will be... Alright, so... Welcome back to Avon Colony. I am Archer Fangs, and this time we're gonna be doing the second mission, Sandy Clutch. Build and sustain a button and get to read it. Welcome to the Sandy Gulch Colony, Governor. This colony has commit. Hold on for a second. Let's check some of the settings. Let's put that to twenty percent. UI, like it's day. That should be fine. Commander, I've got a situation here. What is it, Commander? I'm exploring the cave networks around the colony, and I think I saw something. There was a. And what? Well, let's make it a little bit louder for you guys. Calandra. Calandra, you are not authorized to go exploring. Jack has the sole authority to authorize expeditionary missions. All right. Calandra, what's happening down there? Calandra, do you copy? Her transponder stopped. She's in trouble. Jack? Jack, are you online? I'm here, Vori. Jack, I need you to get down to the Sandy Gulch colony with a medevac unit immediately. Calandra decided to go on an unauthorized exploration mission. Oh, no. That's not what we need right now. Yeah, my feelings exactly. Exactly. I'm sending you the last known location of her transponder signal. I'm on my way. All right, Governor. Looks like we've got a situation on our hands. Do what you can to grow the colony. I'll let you know what you can do to help. All right, all right, all right. So first, first, let's check out the objectives, which was... Uh, we would like you to build a mining colony here. So that's what it is. Build and sustain a viable mining colony. All right, that's what the overall objective is. So as we can see right now, we have a couple of geothermal vents. We also have some greenery area. As you can see, this is a desert region. So I don't think there's, I don't think this soil is fertile to for crops unless we go over here. It's another geothermal vent over here and there's some iron over here iron deposit and we also have a beacon right here we can call um, some pots to resupply us there's two geothermal vents right here next to each other which will be a good th thing to expand over here get like a lot of power all right so first objective build a geothermal generator good I read my mind. I was about to do that. So let's do it. Um, let's get the electricity. Your thermal vent. While we're at it, let's get the mining one. Mine. Let's get the nano processor. Right there. And let's go. Alright, so while they're doing that, let's check um, um, the overlays for food. So let's see. So we have, let's see. Um, we could grow a lot of quinoa. Quinoa? Uh, rice. We we'll also grow wheat. Antari. Calco spores, Roji, Quarry spores, and Xeno's Edge, and also barley. It looks like broccoli, corn, and melons are not good for this terrain, so it's all dry, I'm assuming. So we're gonna have to get rice and canoa, and maybe we got some wheat get going so we get start producing to bread and stuff like that. So what's going on? Insufficient power, what do you mean? I just, oh, there you go, see. Let's make this to a high priority. There you go. Now we have that. 
Next mission, build a water pump. Uh, like always, let's do that. Build a water pump. Let's go. Water pump. Now, where is this a good place to grow? To place a water pump. So, I guess we have to go over here. Let's see the text. I think it's 18. This is right here. This will be a good spot for water. We got to build a path that way. Well, we're either gonna build another drone over here because we're gonna expand for um to grow crops, so we're gonna build it right here. All right, so let's get this high priority and let them build it. Okay, let's go. Let's see, while they're building that list, um, survey the area. So it looks like I cannot go that way. Um, so I could go this way. There's more vents, more cargo pods. Another one over here. We got some Zorium deposits right here. We got another iron mine. What was this? Gold deposit. Ooh, that would be good to go. I don't think that one could be turned into nine nights, so nope, they cannot I believe so. And then what else? That's it. Anything else we can do? All right. So we got that. We built the water pump. What next? Next mission: build two. Oh yeah, that's nice. Two quinoa farms, either greenhouses or farms. So I'm gonna build greenhouses. I guess that will be good. Let's see which will be the best spot. Eight point five, nine point two. This will be a good spot. We gotta build another one. I think I wanna make this into a farm. So let's build this right here. Let's just place it. Yeah, right here will be best. Uh, let's see. If I go this way, okay, there we go. So we have two farms. What's this cargo pod? Gold, potash, and nanites. Uh, this, yeah, let's pick that up. Uh, we are there already. It's gonna block the path for the farm e either way. Alright, well, we here to build a habitat. Like that, we get more residents and they're closer to the work area. A war. So we're gonna get. Let's get more nine nights. Yeah, I think nine nights will be the way to go. All right. Build build two outposts. Uh, that's part of the story. So two outposts. But first, we're gonna do something else. We're gonna build an immigration center because you want the immigration people to start coming in. I'll probably just have one for now. All right, let's build an outpost. I think we can put an outpost right here. And I guess I could spam over here towards this generator. I need another mine. Yeah, we're gonna go that way too. 
Let's see. Yeah, we could expand this way. As far I can go. We got another drone. Let's put it this way. And I'm gonna put the second outpost over here. Oh, whoa, look at that. We got two, three missions already. Wait, but I haven't even built a second outpost. How is it I already got it? Oh, anyway, let's check them out. So, build a mini storage depot. That's the main objective. Reach population of 50. Okay, and then upgrade a farm or greenhouse. Oh, yeah, why not? Let's do that. Let's go for that. Let's see. And then we got the mini storage, which is decent. Let's place down right here. This is potash, so I'll, like always is used for um, fertilizers, which I don't really use it that much. Let's get the reward. Let's get more nanites. Okay, since so we have immigrants right here, we're gonna make this high priority. We're gonna be getting five new colonists per trip, so that's nice. Uh, if I wanna upgrade the. Um, the Giordomo generator. And then what else? So we have a nice amount of food going. So I, I said I wanted to grow also some wheat. So we're gonna wait then when we get more people. Build a trade hub. I had a feeling that was gonna be like a next objective. Trade hub. story so Glory, do you copy I've got the extractor and I've arrived at the location of the transponder I copy Jack okay I think I see her something at the bottom I see a body she didn't go far is it Calandra I see the exosuit so it's got to be her I'm gonna get out and do a scan help load her into the extractor Roger that Jack Holy moly, look at that thing. That thing is spitting whatever that is. Acid balls, I'm assuming? I don't know what that is. Whoa, what uh. the hell was that? It appears to be some sort of giant worm creature. That thing was not one of the species in our expedition briefing. Well, it seems to live underground, so it's no surprise that our scanners didn't pick it up. Uh, should I be worried about that thing? My scanners indicate that it appears to move in a separate tunnel network from the... tunnel network from the one you're in right now so I think you're safe I'll keep an eye out but you'd better hurry it up just in case I appreciate that I'll make this as quick as I can you see governor this is why we don't go on unauthorized exploration missions on an alien planet especially not without proper clearance and back proper clearance and backup I'm sure you're not the sort of person who would engage in that kind of reckless behavior but do make sure your colonists are aware of the danger of these sorts of spontaneous field trips. Alright, so we got a new mission. Let's check this out. Exchange gold for corn. And they build a storage depot. You could just give me that objective instead of the mini one. Honestly. The mini one only goes up to like a thousand. I think. Yeah, just give you a thousand more. Well, the big one gives you a, a max of eight thousand. All right, so they want us to build a storage depot. Let me just go ahead and do that. 
Uh, but first, I want to expand. I need to go this way. Can I build a generator over here? Oh yeah. Reaches. Alright, so we got that. I still need to build some elf filters. There's an end take fan here. I need to look around for any other geothermal vents so we don't have to worry about toxic gas. There's three here, so I need to start getting those immediately. So, I mean, we'll go for this one too. another uh, immigration center we get like more colonies faster I say like having two immigration centers will be the way to go you'll be getting the max of 18 colonists per trip and I think not to worry if you look at most of these jobs they only require like about 5 and 6, this one requires more, this one requires 5, 4 actually, for the um, stuff like that, the farms, only 5. You see, so like majority of the merchants are like 5 and 6, and then like the big ones are like the generators, the mines, the research center. Are like the big ones in the expedition center, which we haven't even seen yet. So, yep. All right, so we need to build a storage. Are we gonna do that? I don't have enough nanites. That's the thing. Happened to our guys, you know. So we have a total of almost 70 jobs open and 70 housing space open. So yeah, so I guess we should just wait it out to get more colonists. We're going to make this on 8x speed. see how it goes all right we can also call the resupply depot okay Jack we have the medical facility in place and we're ready to begin the extraction Jack are you there I'm here Vori I've got Calandra loaded in now vital signs are normal vital signs are normal mild concussion but I've got her on a rebreather and she's doing fine I can understand Kalandra's curiosity, but I'll have to speak with her about unauthorized solo expeditions. I'm glad it's somebody else that's getting in trouble for a change. But there's something else. Yeah, what is it? There were signs of a struggle. Signs? What sort of signs? There were a few puncture marks on the suit. And it wasn't one of those sandworms. All right. Given her status, I'm recommending immediate return to the colony ship for analysis. Roger that. Uh, one more thing. It looks like Calandra found something down there, some kind of object. She was holding it in her hand when we loaded her onto the medevac. It's like a cube. Okay. Well, I'm sure it's just some piece of equipment. I don't think so, Vori. It's not man-made and none of us have been down there. Okay. What I just heard was not man-made. Jack, knock it off. Stop pulling my leg. Vori, as much as I do enjoy tomfoolery and shenanigans, as you're so fond of saying, I can assure you that this is neither. Then I admit that that's peculiar. 
All right, bring it back with you. We'll subject it to further analysis back at the colony ship. Roger that. Torin out. All right, so they found something. They found the girl Calandra. Build an air filter or an intake van. Uh, that's what I was about to do right now. I was really about to build this. I was just waiting for the cutting to go away. Since I have two geared thermal, I need to um, actually start putting air filters so they they don't like reduce the quality of the uh, tunnels. All right. You have a trade. You have a trade vessel idol, so we could export gold. For now, I think we only have little gold, so. Where did I saw that gold deposit? Over here, so... I gotta build all the way over there, so I'm gonna take like about 3 or 4, probably 5 drone hubs, construction ones, to get there. Let's see. Next objective, construct 3 additional buildings, alright. So I built 2... For some reason, the two L filters considered, uh, like as two structures. Should have just been one. All right. The next structure, then we're gonna build. Wait, does one already have max? No, it doesn't. Already frozen. All right. So we still need to get more workers, though. Uh, fifty percent of the jobs are filled, and another fifty percent is not. So I need to get more workers. I could also go for this iron mine and start stocking up on iron. So like that, I have an enough amount of stuff, but that also needs me to get, uh, will increase the jobs open. No workers. There's only a random emergency. Alright, so let's see. Uh, where there is all the cargo pot? I saw another cargo pot somewhere nearby. Let's see. Yeah, I picked the one that was right here. Yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah. So, this doesn't have any gold. We need to export 400. Oh, wait, never mind. Just. Exchange gold for 400 corn. Oh, that's easy. It's part of just the gold that we found in the supply pot. Hopefully we have enough though. Let's check the train menu. So we're getting... Oh yeah, we have enough. So it's just 20 gold for 200 corn. Yep. Two trips and it should be good to go. We need this gold. Apparently the only 50 to efficiency. Alright, so, we're gonna call this episode right here, so if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and if you got any questions or any suggestion tips about the game, you're welcome to leave it in the comments below, and hit the bell so you can be notified when we upload videos, so you will never miss one from my channel, like that you're up to date with my content. And I am Archer Fangs, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.